What's going on vape fam? This is Subum Saint bringing you another review. This time I'm bringing it on a RDA called the Bullet Mini by Infinite. Let me see if I can get her to focus here. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Now, I picked this up at my local vape shop. Um, I didn't really hear too much about it. It just kind of caught my eye when it was sitting there because it had a little glass. You'll see it when I get up in the close-ups, but... I was like, oh man, that looks pretty nice, and I haven't heard much about it, so you know what, I'll share it with my vape family on YouTube, so, yeah. Now this was about, retail is about 25, 35 bucks, it depends on pretty much where you go, but I will put links in the descriptions on multiple places on where you guys can get this. Now it does come in four different color options, you got your stainless steel, which I have right here, you have black, pink, white. Pretty much covers the bases right there. Now, the Delrin piece on the top, you can't get it in black. I don't know why they didn't do a black one. That would have been pretty cool. But, you do get it in white. It does have three drip tip options, but I'll get down into that when we get to the nitty and the gritty. And it does have 18 air holes, 9 air holes on each side. Three of those air holes are coming from underneath. It does have a bottom peak insulator right here on the base, which is pretty nice because I haven't had any problems with my mod getting too hot or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. It does have a copper positive pin, a 3.5 millimeter juice well, and I gotta admit, I actually like it with the Delrin piece, like vape wise, a little bit better than the glass piece that comes with it. The glass piece, I like the overall look of it it looks awesome with the glass piece but it just don't vape the same to me so but anyways guys now i will be taking a couple toots off of this and we'll get down to the nitty and the gritty i'll show you everything that comes in the box get down back up into facetime and we will talk about this thing and i'll tell you where you can get one of these hey she chucks Let's do this. See, there it is with the glass piece. Yeah, it looks pretty sleek, don't it? All right, guys, here we are with the unboxing of the Bullet Mini. Got a nice little window to see your RDA here. Infinite logo. No, gotta be 18. No pregnancy. There you go. Tells you everything. You want to pause that. Take a look. Take a gander. Got a nice little tab here. Slide it on out. You got your little bag of goodies here. You got a couple screws. Some O-rings. Little screwdriver sits right in here. Get your nice little glass chuff piece here. You only get one of these now, so be careful. This is the piece that holds on your glass chuff here. Screws into the base of the atomizer. You gotta go up under it. I'll show you guys. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Here's your 510 adapter. Delrin. Not bad. Got a little copper 510. Nine air holes in total on each side. Three of these, these bottom three. I'll show you guys. Here you go. Pop this. Here's your little Delrin chuff here nice little spit back garden and it does do pretty good spit back garden you know i don't get a lot of spit back you do get a little condensation up in there but you know that's come that's gonna be expected hold on by a single o-ring just sits up in there set that to the side
Here's your adjustable airflow. Nice little slot right here. That's for your top piece here. That way, whenever you use your airflow, you can close it off and just have the bottom three open. Or six, my bad. Same on the same on both sides. Just keep turning. Just keep turning. There you go. You can open up five on each side. Six on each side. Or you can just do four. Or just have it wide open. Same like that on each side. This hole right here goes into the deck right there. It's supposed to make like a little cyclone effect. Here's the deck piece right here. Nice two post. Peak insulator on the bottom. It's supposed to keep your device cooler. And it does pretty good on that. I haven't had any problems with my device getting really hot, really warm. Three A air holes. These come in at an angle. Way it comes in where your coils are sitting right here. Like your coil is sitting right here. And your airflow comes in there and hits it right on the side. So it's pretty different. It's different. This is a 3.5 millimeter deep juice well. Copper 510. Copper positive pin. My bad. Nice little infinite logo right here. Held on by a single O-ring. Phillips screw screws. There it is, guys. See how you, when you sit this in here, I mean, you can turn it on this sideways. I don't know why you would, but there isn't. I mean, there's ways to turn the bottom airflow off if you do not want it. I mean, you can keep turning it, turning it. Well, if I can get it to turn. But the bad thing is, your airflow is not going to be lined up. Let me show you guys here. See your airflow is going to be over there. Coil is going to be sitting here. So you pretty much. You pretty much got to have the bottom airflow on. And it's kind of a bummer. Have a little bit of a, some grooves there. That's for your 510 or this. Now I found that you have to take this O-ring off. Because it is a pain in the padonka donk if you don't. You gotta put it up under here. Keep screwing it on. Put this o ring right back on. And. There's your little glass drip tip. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like it with the glass piece a little more. Aesthetically looking. Or look wise. Now you do got little grooves right in here. Which makes it a little bit easier for you to unscrew it. Screw it on. Whatever you want to call it. Pops it right out. Now for your 510 one, pretty much the same thing. You go up underneath. There you go. Now you can use any old standard 510 drip tip. Just like that. Looks a little funny. But it's there. <laughs> and that about covers it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and switch it out. Put the glass drip tip on. And we'll go back to FaceTime vape on it. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about how I feel. Alright, let's do this. Alright, guys. That was my up close and personal with the Bullet Mini by Infinite. I do have the little glass chuff on here. Not bad. I, I just, I love the looks of it with the glass chuff. I mean, it is pretty, it looks modern 
Let's just say that. It looks modern. Now, my pros and my cons about this device, I do not have too many pros, or not too many pros, but not, I don't have too many cons about this device. I mean, it's it's got a lot of airflow. It's got airflow options. You can just alternate and try to find the right vape that you want. Uh, it does have a nice 3.5 millimeter juice well, which is kind of nice because it won't leak out the bottom of air holes. Now, it will if you over drip. I mean, that's that's a given, though. Um, I do like the color options it comes with. I wish the Delrin piece, like the Delrin chuff, came in like a black. I mean, to me, I... I'm sorry guys man I'm just I'm matchy like that it's gotta match and things gotta line up right it's just I don't know I think I'm OCD or something like that I don't know what it is but it's like really irritable to me and I just don't like white I don't like white Delrin especially especially since it's got like that uh, like a like a grayish Del or, or peak on the bottom here so it's kind of I don't know anyways without me going on about my uh phobias and problems and all that that i have with it i mean great airflow options i get good decent flavor i get better flavor off of the delrin piece um i do i don't know if i like the shape of it because it kind of makes me <laughs> now other than that, guys, I mean, it's pretty nice RDA for $25, $35. Bucks. I mean, it's great vape budget friendly. It's, uh, I don't get that cyclone effect from that one air hole. I mean, maybe I do, but it's very little. I do like the two-post design. Hey, it chucks. It chucks. I do got a lot of airflow going on right now. It is kind of airy when you open it, yeah. I do like the three drip tip options too. I like that you can use the Delrin, you can use the glass. I do like that you have your own option for your own 510. They should have gave you like an extra glass piece because I'm clumsy and if I broke this, I'd probably I'd probably cry a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I will possibly be posting an e-juice review on Wednesday, hopefully depending on uh you know, I need to go out and I need to buy, like, a whole juice line. That way I can review it. I'm trying to stay on point with this. I mean, you know, with Christmas coming up and all that, it's just, it's really hectic. So, I'm trying to budget what I need for my channel and what I need to get everybody else for Christmas. But, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave a link in the description to my Instagram, my Facebook. I do have a Google Plus account. I, I do tend to forget to uh, kind of post on my Google Plus. I don't know why, but I do. I know. But uh, I will definitely keep you guys posted throughout the holidays. I have pictures on Instagram all the time to where what my setups are and what I'm using right now and all that good stuff. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and just remember... If you need sub on Saint SOS and you need help, stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. You guys keep on vaping. And keep them coils wet.